This is problem number 8 from section 4.8. In this problem they say solve the following equation by making an appropriate substitution. Now you'll notice we have x to the negative 1 and x to the negative 2. We're not used to that, right? We're used to maybe x squared and then just x and these powers are the exact opposite. Well we're going to do something that's pretty I would call it uh, uh, pretty nice. Uh, we're going to essentially say that we're going to let a different variable, so we're going to say u, equal x to the negative 1. Now this may seem not very intuitive to you why you would do this, but what we're trying to do is we're trying to rewrite this in a quadratic form so that we can solve it and then resubstitute x to the negative 1 back in at the very end. So we're trying to put it into, we're trying to change this equation into something we're used to so we can solve it and then uh, substitute x to the negative 1 back in to find our final solution. So if we say let u equal x to the negative 1, well that means this is going to change to u and because this is x to the negative 1 times x to the negative 1, which is x to the negative 2, this is going to end up being u squared. So I'm going to end up being able to write this as 5u squared minus 17u plus 14 equals 0. And I didn't change the equation per se, I just said let's let a different variable equal x to the negative 1 for now. You can see I have a quadratic now. I'm going to use the quadratic formula on this. So let's pull out the quadratic formula, but instead of saying x, this time we're saying u equals, and then we're going negative, negative 17, plus and minus root, negative 17 squared, minus 4, times a, which is 5, times c, which is 14. And that's all going to be over 2 times 5. So that's u equals 17 plus and minus root. I'm going to plug all that in the calculator. So we end up with negative 17 squared minus 4 times 5 times 14. That's 9, so we get root 9 here over 10. So this gives you u equals 17 plus and minus 3 over 10, which is going to be u equals 17 plus 3 is 20 over 10, which is 2, or u equals 17 minus 3, which is 14, over 10, which is divide them both by 2, you get 7 over 5. Okay, this is where we bring back in the x to the negative 1. At this point, I've got a couple of solutions for u, but we're not trying to find u, we're trying to find x. We can substitute x to the negative 1 then in for u for each of these. So I can say x to the negative 1 equals 2 or x to the negative 1 equals 7 over 5. Now I can solve here. So I can say that x to the negative 1, and I'm going to rewrite these up here. So I can say x to the negative 1 I know is actually 1 over x equal 2. Multiply by x, so I get 1 equals 2x divide by 2, so I get 1 half is x. So that's one of the solutions to this problem. Or, again, do the same thing, 1 over x equals 7 fifths. And we can actually do a nice property here. We can, because they're both fractions, if we just flip this fraction and flip this fraction, as long as we flip, if we flip this fraction and we do the same to this fraction, the sides stay the same. So I'm going to flip 1 over x to just say x over 1 equals 
5 over 7. And then that's obviously x equals 5 over 7. Now what we need to do is we probably need to try to check the answers to this. So let's go ahead and do that. And we can do that in our calculator pretty easily. And I recommend your calculator. So we're going to do 1 half, so 0.5, store it as x. Then we're just going to type in the equation. So 5x to the negative 2 minus 17x to the negative 1 plus 14. 0. That's a solution. And then let's take 5 sevenths. So uh, let's do a fraction. 5 over 7. We're going to store it as x and grab that equation. We get 0 as well. Both of those are solutions. And we use that little substitution there, u equals x to the negative 1, to get it to a quadratic form that we could solve, and then we just plug it back in at the end.